hello this video we will discuss about the enzyme so enzyme is globular protein first of all and all enzyme work optimum ph and optimum temperature uh, in water so for hydrolyzing of the bond and it is made up of polypeptide and three dimensional three dimensional structure and enzyme in increased chemical reaction without breakdown itself in low temperature uh, they are catalysis of biological system and on the other hand it is uh, reducing the energy of activation uh, we will discuss so the holo enzyme first of all we will discuss an apo enzyme what is holo enzyme and apo enzyme holo enzyme is contain a coenzyme a cofactor and this cofactor and coenzyme set of the two component is known as holo enzyme while the substrate will be trigger and uh, this for di uh, digestion and breakdown of the uh, larger molecule into the smaller or smaller into the larger so enzyme is a reaction center for example pepsin for pep proteins lipase for lipids amylase for amylose and cellulase for cellulose for example the xylem basically is the wood on the other hand the coenzyme we will discuss coenzyme is basically type of enzyme which that play important role with the enzyme and metal ion can be or inorganic phosphate which help to trigger the reaction of anabolism or catabolism cofactor loosely but coenzyme tightly bound with enzyme so the cofactor is loosely but the coenzyme is the tightly bound and it can be cofactor or coenzyme so the coenzyme we will discuss about so here is the apo enzyme which that is without the coenzyme or cofactor so it is known as the apo enzyme it is incomplete basically so here is the reducing the energy of activation for catalysis it means that low temperature can trigger the enzyme activity and some enzyme are conjugated such as uh, cobamide coenzyme and lip lipoic acid and the for transfer of hydrogen proton basically a uh, uh, proton donation or accepting of the proton is the nad plus nadp plus fmn fad plus lipoic acid and coenzyme q a role of metal ion is basically potassium magnesium calcium zinc and copper can be and it is known as the metallo enzyme the second category of metal enzyme is called a um, metallo enzyme in this case metal um uh, tightly bound so the specificity of the enzyme is the all enzyme specific for specific substrate for example protein to pepsin digestion of the protein through pepsin in the stomach we will discuss also so on the other hand if uh, now we will discuss about the denaturation so what that means denaturation means the optimum temperature and optimum ph is required for the enzyme so here we will discuss about the temperature is the horizontal and vertical the activity of enzyme and here is the 37 degree celsius in human in human the normal function while the here is denaturation when the temperature will be increase or decrease so the heat ph can changes the d uh, nature of enzyme for the normal activity so let's discuss about the enzyme and substrate reaction and what is the model so the lock and key model here we will discuss the template model lock and key which that is the uh, um, basically is uh, introduced first so this is the enzyme with substrate bind like a lock and key model lock and key and the substrate uh, contain active site is the specific and to give a product but this concept is not pretty much good and in the other hand the induced fit model is very survived and in this way enzyme and substrate so enzyme can be can uh, change their shape of the active site for the binding of the substrate so to give a product so the enzyme substrate complex formation and this feedback mechanism in this way the enzyme will not destroy and again the pick the substrate for the breakdown to produce a product so this is again and again using of the enzyme is a property 
so the effect of ph we will discuss here just so the enzyme activity is the vertical showing while the horizontal 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 in the graph showing the ph so the 0 to 14 so some enzyme play important role in the neutral ph while some for example pepsin in the 2 ph is the more acidic while some are less acidic or some are more basic so according to that the ph is required for the specific enzyme for the normal function for example here the stomach which contain a parietal cell and chief cell parietal cell produce the hydrochloric acid and chief cell produce the pepsinogen while the pepsinogen is the inactive and the acid is required for the activation so in this way the acid more so the pepsinogen will be work more to convert the pepsin so the in this way the acidic medium is required for the pepsin pepsinogen to convert pepsin so that is why the activation of enzyme required the uh, required the acid so the effect of substrate concentration we will discuss if so the directly proportional to the substrate uh, concentration at a limit but limit means a limitation basically the enzyme activity is the reaction is here vertical and here is the substrate increase is a horizontal when we will increase the substrate to, so the active site will pick the substrate to increase the chemical reaction so the number of enzyme active site will be decreased uh, drastically when we will increase the substrate so in this way when we will increase the substrate so the number of active site is less and in this way the less to become a less enzyme activity so the reaction chemical reaction and breakdown of the substrate will be slow because the enzyme again and again use but it take time so let's uh, discuss that example of the enzyme so here is for example this is the five active site of the enzyme this five active site of the enzyme require the five only substrate if increase that to five the reaction rate increase but more increase to decrease rate of reaction if we will discuss if we will increase the five to uh, three to five substrate so it means the reaction will be increased but if we will add the more substrate so in this way the chemical reaction will be decreased because the substrate will be increased but the active side will be decreased if we will increase the enzyme so in this way the reaction rate again increase so it depends on the active side and substrate so let's discuss about the inhibitor enzyme inhibitor so the enzyme inhibitor can bind with that active side or non-active side so it is we can classify into the competitive inhibitor, non-competitive inhibitor, and allosteric inhibitor. So the non-competitive and competitive, first of all, we will discuss. So the reversible competitive inhibitor is the reversible. And here you can see the enzyme inhibitor complex formation. In this way, the active side will be grabbed and active side will be stick with the inhibitor and the substrate will not bind. So the activity of enzyme will be decreased. So here you can see that this is the rate of reaction and the vertically showing that inhibitor. So the when it is the example of the lactate dehydrogenase, hydroxymethyl glutarate, coenzyme reductase and dihydrofolate and reductase HMG CoA. These all are the inhibitor and this is used for the here you can see that is the showing the when increase the inhibition so the reaction rate will be decreased so here is an irreversible irreversible non-competitive inhibitor which that can bind with the other side rather than the active side so the substrate here and change the active side shape and after the shape it is the again graph showing that the increasing of the inhibitor will decrease the chemical reaction while on the other hand the allosteric is the allosteric mean uh, for example here first of all we will discuss about the enzyme for example activator is used for the changes of the shape of the active site and alter the active site to bind the substrate so in this way the site of the activator will bind with the inhibitor and after the binding with the inhibitor to form a inhibitor uh, enzyme complex 
and that's allosteric inhibitor and in this way the enzyme active site will not change their shape due to the binding with the inhibitor so in this way the active site will not pick the substrate uh, sorry uh, yes substrate to convert the product so it means the inhibition will be occur so this is all type of the enzyme and their inhibitor so i hope you make make sense about the enzyme so next video we will discuss about the another topic about the enzyme so thanks for watching